What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily GTA 5 news, tips, tricks, easter eggs, guides, and more. And today I'm going to be talking about the stock market, how it works, and how to make a lot of money from it. As always, if you enjoy the video, be sure to press that like button and subscribe for more daily, top-notch GTA 5 videos. Before we start, I want to let you know that with stocks, there is always a risk. Nothing is guaranteed besides a few instances that I will explain a bit further on. You also need a decent amount of money, I would say a couple of million, if you want to make any good amounts of money in the stock market, unless you want to spend hours upon hours making small trades. This guide also has a few minor spoilers, mostly just references the company names from storyline missions, a few uh, references to the assassination missions that you have to perform for Lester, but there are no major plot spoilers. I would suggest completing the game first and not finishing any of Lester's assassination missions before you take a serious look into the stock market. I will be releasing guides on how to earn money through other means in the near future which will prove helpful if you don't plan on completing the game anytime soon and still want to invest, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those. To start, there are two types of stock markets in GTA 5. There is the LCN, Liberty City National Exchange, which is the single player stock market. And then there's the Boss Act, which is the online rockstar social club effected sort of stock market. To access either one of these stock markets, simply press the D-pad up to pull up your phone, click on the internet icon at the bottom, and then click on the money and services tab. You can also access this area through the multiple laptops and uh, desktop computers that you find throughout the game. Next, click on either the LCN or the BOSSAC and it will lead you to their website. Now onto the basics. Whether you are on the LCN or BOSSAC, there are three tabs at the top. Home shows the market movers, which are the companies doing the best and the worst on the market at this point in time. It also shows the main stories, which have so far proven to be useless. Next, the market tab shows all of the available companies that you can invest in, the current price to purchase one of their stocks, how much it has changed recently, and the percentage of that change. If you click on any company's stock page, you will see a graph showing their weekly statistics and the highest their stock has gone in the week, as well as the lowest. It is helpful to note that the stock price fluctuates every 30 seconds to one minute. Finally, the My Portfolio section shows which stocks you have invested in. Remember that the LCN is only in your single player save and is not affected by others like the Boss Act, which works on the Rockstar Social Club and fluctuates based on buying and selling. Now that you have a basic understanding of the stock markets and how they work, there are four ways I am going to cover to use the stock market to profit and greatly increase your income. Number one is spotting trends, which is the riskiest option. Number two is storyline missions, often long-term investments. Number three is Lester's assassination missions, which are short-term investments, have the biggest payout, and are the most profitable. And number four, we have in-game free roam actions, which I would say are the most unreliable and they haven't really proven themselves yet. With all of these options, it all comes down to one thing, timing. The time you buy and the time you sell will greatly have an outcome on whether you'll be able to eventually purchase that $150 million property or if you'll be robbing convenience stores to finance a respray on your car. Starting off with number one, we have spotting trends. So if you click on a company's stock profile, you will see a graph on how their stock traded in the last week. If you notice a pattern of a drastic drop in price and then an increase in price happening quite often in the week, then this is a good company to choose for this option. You're going to want to wait and try and buy at the lowest point of the stock and then sell at the highest point a little while later. Use the high and low values in the stock information section to judge when the stock may be reaching its lowest point and don't purchase stocks that are consistently not going up and down. They are far too risky. Also don't be discouraged if your stock remains negative for a little while. Stocks never crash to zero and it is bound to go back up unless an in-game storyline mission directly affects it and even then the stock will still eventually rise back up. Now when you invest low and try to sell high, it's tough kind of to tell when the stock will stop climbing up. So what I would suggest is to keep the stock until it drops even the slightest and then sell it to maximize profits. A quick tip when buying stocks is to hold down the buy button as it then quickly purchases more stocks the longer you hold it down. You can also see an updated view of how your stock is doing by clicking on the My Portfolio and then to Markets and then back to My Portfolio as that effectively refreshes the page. Again, this is one of the riskiest options and it takes quite a bit of time to get used to it. Don't sell your stocks when they go negative just because you're discouraged. They will go back up. 
Second, we have storyline missions. During the storyline, you will be doing a lot of heists and missions which have an effect on the company's stocks that are involved. These are mostly long-term investments that will greatly pay off by the end of the game, so if you have some extra cash, be sure to invest in these. For example, when you do the first mission for Lester, which you have to go to the Life Invader office, it would be wise to complete the mission, wait for all the events to occur, and then invest a decent amount when Life Invader hits that all-time low. The stock will greatly increase by the time that you're near the end of the game and you will make a ton of money. Another example of this is when you're robbing the jewelry store known as Vangelico. The stock will drop shortly after you have robbed it and then be sure to invest when it hits its all-time lowest point and then you will make a lot of money again near the end of the game. Third, we have Lester's assassination missions. These are the best, easiest, and fastest way to make money on the stock market. About halfway through the game, you will have access to Lester's assassination missions on Franklin. I would suggest not completing any of these until you complete the game and have a few million to invest. I would also suggest investing in the companies on all three characters shortly before starting the mission so that you can profit on all of them, if that situation applies, which I'm gonna let you know. There are five assassination missions, and each one of them gives you an opportunity to make a lot of money. For the first assassination mission where you assassinate the person at the hotel, be sure to invest in Beta Pharmaceuticals, which is in the Boss Sack. Next, for the second mission where you have to assassinate multiple targets, be sure to invest in Debonair Cigarettes on the LCN before you complete the mission. Sell the stock when it rises to about a 50% increase a few minutes after you complete the mission. On the third mission where you assassinate the guy who loves hookers, be sure to invest in Fruit on the Boss Sack, as that stock will go up. Fourth, there is the bus missions. There is no rival company to invest for this, but you can invest in Vapid after it drops to a low because you did assassinate their CEO and then just sell it when it jumps back up. Finally, on the fifth mission where you can assassinate the CEO at the construction site, be sure to invest in Gold Coast Development on the LCN before you complete the mission. This stock rises to give you a plus 50% profit on your initial investment. I had invested $25 million and made $14 million off of this investment. Finally, with in-game free roam, you can have an effect on stocks as well. I want to note that this is not 100% proven, but it seems to have an effect from my testing. Here's a list of competing businesses on the LCN. With this list, you can invest in a company and then raid destruction on their competitors to increase the company's share price that you invested in. An example of this is Clucking Bell versus Taco Bomb. If you invest in Taco Bomb and then head up to the Clucking Bell's factory at the top of the map and then continue to blow up their trucks, kill their workers, and overall cause mayhem on their facility, it will drop Clucking Bell's stock price and raise Taco Bombs. Another example is Fly US versus Air Emu. If you invest in Air Emu and then continue to go to Los Santos Airport and blow up all of the planes and vehicles, you will see the Fly US stock price drop and the Air Emu stock rise, giving you a profit on your investment. So overall, the best and most guaranteed way of making money really quick and efficiently on the stock market is through those Lester's assassination missions. There are the other three options which are a bit risky and one's even long-term investment, but if you get good at them, you can make a lot of money. Hopefully my in-depth guide on the stock market has helped you, give you a better understanding of the stock markets, how they function, and have made you a bit of money. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to press that like button and to subscribe for great guides like this one. Thanks, I hope you have an awesome day, and peace out.